director of volunteer services that uh, does recruitment. Um, so really, there is a volunteer position here that can fit anybody. Okay. So I, I just want to elaborate one more thing because I know you had mentioned thing and you mentioned jeans and socks and all sort of stuff but just as you mentioned with um, the female persuasion do you take uh, clothing for women and for job interviews as well like professional blouses dress um, dress wear and anything like that for them as well oh absolutely um, we take all clothing actually um, we take clothing for kids women and men um, it was just our, our biggest need was what I pointed out but uh, we are happy if you go through your entire closet and get rid of half the stuff. Maybe half the stuff doesn't fit you. You know, hopefully maybe, you know, you lost some weight and you want to get rid of that clothes and um, buy yourself some new clothes. So we actually have a donation center that is right next door to our main building. And it's a drive through So Monday through Friday from 8 to 4, you could just pull up to the building and an attendant will help you um, with your donations. So, yes. All clothing, shoe donations that we take, even some small household items, um, but that, that's pretty much uh, the gist of it. Okay, so I know you kind of touched point about it with volunteers, but what can members of the community do to help get involved with Turning Point as a Yeah. Um, like you said, and we talked about volunteers, uh, that is a big need, but also just um, being an advocate and learning about um, what homelessness is in our community or what the struggles are for people in our community. Um, so you can learn about that going to our website or to our Facebook page um, to you know, find out some more things. You could be an ambassador um, to Turning Points. One thing pre-pandemic that we always did, we always gave tours. So if anyone wants to learn about home, um, Turning Points or homelessness, they could come in and one of us would give them a tour. And we actually go through all of the programs and we you know, meet clients and we meet staff and volunteers. Because that's really the best way um, to learn about turning points is to come here and, and see, kind of see your donation at work. Um, but right now our tours are limited. Um, so we hope to get back to that soon. Um, but before we can get back to that, there is a lot of information on our website. And then we are working on a like 3D online tour that people can take. Um, so we're working on that now and that should be ready soon, maybe in the next in the next two weeks where someone could go to our website and actually walk through almost like a, like you see for houses that, that are for sale um, that realtors are selling. Um, you can actually walk through turning points and you can walk through each room and each program and find out about it. So that will actually be done really, really soon. So I will definitely share that with you. I can't wait to hear about that. Now you did mention in this last question, ambassador. Can you elaborate more on, on becoming an ambassador? I, I'm intrigued about learning more about becoming an ambassador with turning points. Sure, it's, um, it's really about learning about all of our programs and services. And um, sometimes we have like a lunch and learn here at our facility. Um, and uh, we'll probably start that soon, but it's really about learning what we do and then sharing um, what we do with the community because uh, a lot of people get help here at Turning Point. So the more people that know about Turning Points and support Turning Point, the more people that we could assist. Nice. That's great. So are you participating in any upcoming events? Now, obviously, like I mentioned before, we're in COVID world and obviously that has shut down a lot of events, but we don't know what's going to happen in the next couple months. So obviously Turning Points may have some events coming up. So do you know of any events that will be coming up uh, within the next couple months that you would like to share? Sure. Um, one thing, uh, the Florida Fabulous 50 group, which is a local group in Manatee and Sarasota counties, 
They are fundraising for Turning Points and three other nonprofits here in our county. Um, and they actually have a monthly networking event that they have at a different place every month. But in August and September, um, we hope that we could participate in the events that they're having and members of the community are welcome. So on August 20th is an event called Revitalize and it's at Art Ovation. And it looks like to be um, like kind of a big vendor event or a networking event where people will have tables and you get to go and learn about all of these different businesses and agencies. And then September 17th is the second annual um, fashion show, Fashion Ovation, a night of giving. And that's also going to be at Art Ovation. Um, so I know that there's more information on Facebook. There is a Florida Fabulous 50 group that's on Facebook. So there's more information there. Um, so those are some really fun events um, in the future. And yeah, like you say, I hope that we can all go to them and have fun because um, uh, we are looking forward to them. And then we are also planning our 22nd annual stand down for our veterans. Um, and that is slated for the end of October. Um, because of COVID, again, it will be presented a little differently than we usually did. And we're still working out the details because before we had a big community event where several hundred people came um, and there was a band, there was all kinds of fun stuff to do. Um, so we are just planning that now. So I will definitely keep everyone updated. So this event, um, it's called Stand Down because it, it primarily focuses on helping our veterans. Um, but it, we also open it up to helping other people in need. It's like on a Saturday morning. So still working out those details. And then we always have our annual dinner right after Thanksgiving. So again, trying to figure out what we're doing. Um, we know some people are doing virtual events for their galas. Um, so we just kind of have to see in the next month or two to kind of nail down to see what we're going to do. Um, but, you know, people can check our website, um, it's tpmanatee.org, or our Facebook page, Turning Points FL, um, for updates. So we're really going to try to update those pages so people can be informed. Nice. Well, that that's great information about the uh, events that are coming up. And like I mentioned before, we don't know what's happening with COVID-19 and if, you know, a month or two from now, things are going to open up or things are going to be locked back down again. So I think everyone is like clenching their teeth and waiting to hear, you know, what's about to happen. So mm -hmm. um, with that, uh, I know we're kind of getting a little closer to time. So um, this is where I usually give my uh, guests an opportunity to kind of uh, put out there um, the best contact information that they would like to um, get in contact by. I know you've already mentioned your Facebook site and your website. So uh, just in case you want to reiterate it again, please feel free to do that as well as give any, you know, phone number or any other, other contact information you would like to give for anyone, whether they want to be an ambassador to donate to you know just reach out and you know donate money um now's the time that i'll give it over to you margie so go ahead okay thank you um so if anyone is listening needs help or needs assistance or they know someone that needs assistance um we'll start with there too uh because there are several ways to get that assistance so we are open monday through friday um, from 8 a.m to 5 p.m but if someone needs basic services like showers or food or help with a birth certificate, um, they can come in Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 2. So you just come in and just say, you know, you need these basic services. For housing, we actually have an online application process that opens up on Monday mornings at 9 a.m. And that application is located on our website, so tpmanatee.org under rent and utility assistance. And if someone needs help for medical or dental services, it's best just to call ahead to see if you're eligible um, to receive services. And our main number is 941-747-1509. And if anyone wants to volunteer, 
Um, again, go to our website, tpmanatee.org, and at the top of every page, there's a volunteer button. So you could click on that volunteer button, and it shows you, um, you know, the what we're doing because of COVID, how we are um, keeping everyone safe here. So it's a safe environment to volunteer, but it, and then it also lists the different volunteer opportunities with contact information on that page. And then also, if you want to donate to Turning Point, you go to our website, tpmanatee.org, and at the top of every page is a donate button. So you can press that donate button and then go from there. Our address is 701 17th Avenue West in Bradenton at 34205. We are actually right across the street from Lecom Park where the Pirates play and the Marauders. Um, so it's kind of easy to find if you know where that is downtown. We are actually right across the street from there. Um, so, you know, you could stop by. Um, hopefully, when we do tours again really soon, um, you could take a tour. Um, and then you could also email or call me. So um, if you want to learn more about Turning Points, you know, become an ambassador so you could share what we do. My email address is m Dawson. So that is M D A W S O N at T P Manatee.org. Um, so yeah, I, I, I hope someone calls or, you know, checks out what we do because uh, I, I love talking about turning points and the impact that we have in the community. Um, so in turn, so hopefully we can help or assist more people. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Mark for your being part of Socially Joe and getting your message of turning points out there. And I, I can't wait to go to these events. I really can't because I'm part of the events, but um, I, I love to help and I want to learn more and talk to you more about everything. So thank you again for being part of Socially Joe. Have a great day.